just you know do uh, doing dumb shit without being drunk that's what i'm about all right so we'll we'll uh listen to this a little bit while i break the last of my good fuel and then we'll get started i know it's quiet hold on station opening satin as for the outlet <laughs> shit tideman's jamming my signals <laughs> <laughs> I'll jam your signal, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some things never change. All night. Or for about five minutes, and then I'll just go to sleep. Whatever. It's a race to the finish line. That joke that sex is a race to the finish line. <laughs> Power <node. laughs> Tally. Power nodes are used to. Oh god, my back. Power nodes are used to uh, open. There's some like special little doors, not doors, but uh, kind of like caches, caches uh, that can only be opened with power nodes. Uh, but you can also use power nodes for other stuff like upgrades. So you want to use them kind of sparingly. Text database file to Hickey. Anxiety spike. I'll read through this, or I'll talk through this since uh, I'm just reading text. Uh, actually, what's funny is the headset I was using was expensive. I was using a Sennheiser headset, but the the mic was real cheap, obviously. So, like, I mean, the San the headset itself was nice, but the mic was was not very good, as you can very very clearly hear. Also, one thing I didn't realize until we were watching this the other day is that I was streaming this. So this was not only the first let's play i did but it's the first stream i did well no i don't think this is the first stream i did i think i streamed fallout 3. she's gonna be all over you when you finally find this beer on your god damn it <gasps> yes zydra you are you are definitely stand back i've got this death scope asshole party cleric <laughs> stand back <laughs> That's, uh, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's fucking awesome. My commentary has obviously increased. So, shut up. Alright. I'm going to, uh, save it here. And, uh, go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Wait, did I edit this out? All Probably right. not. Here we go again. Let's take our buddy with us. Holy shit, I actually did. What the hell? Like this. That one eye is really freaky. <laughs> is it safe? Check the room for xenomorphs. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I get it. So, basically, you have to hit tab while the message up is up that says hit tab to check the thing. Eisenberg's uncertainty principle. I know what it is. Aquatine reference. Maintenance report 384 003. Alright, this is just me reading stuff. That's somehow relevant. Ooh, hack. Uh, slowly rotate mouse to find blue weak points, then press. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, God. What am I doing? Well, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Slowly it's not that complicated. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Obviously not. She says that to everybody's hydrate. Don't take it too 
two to heart. Oh, okay. I sort of get that, I guess. Move it until you see that, then press. Huh. You'll say it's a Manu when you're not here. Aim and press. Ah, it slows the charges over time now. Well, no. Obviously, you didn't say it to me. No! Thank you. Obviously, you never said it to me. My buddy. My buddy and me. Oh, God. What was you're that? You're my only true friend. Head. I think I remember the My Buddy toy. Was that one of those talking toys? I love stasis. I mean, even if it uh, does make things a little too easy, it's just fun as, uh, fun as hell watching those things moving like super slow-mo. Did I just try to keep myself from swearing? I started to say shit, but then hell. Oh, no, what? No, head, head, come on. Man, that's right. You know now I, when if I when I find that head today, if I find that head today, you know now I had to take that with me. That seems super secure. Alright, up. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Kid sister. Kid sister. I don't know if it's the same like slogan. Alright. Wow, that uses a hell of a lot of stasis now though. Wow. By the way, that's another thing too. I'd also considered, like today, instead of Dead Space 2, starting Dead Space 1. Because I didn't realize, because I said before yeah, that... half my stasis to do it one time. Uh. Hey, you're not, uh... Hey, you took my head. Oh. Huh. Oh, that looks bad. Somebody suggested a drinking game oh, where we watch this wild. and you drink every time I say bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, that's horse shit. Mm. Oatmeal. <laughs> wow, that's like hell. I forgot I called their puke oatmeal. Because it probably smells like oatmeal too. Ugh. I don't see why they gave me so much health. Oatmeal is poor people One of those grits. Things, uh, took me almost from about three quarters health to dead, it looks like. Alright. Alright, we'll watch a little bit more. And then we'll wrap it up. Wrap it up! Exactly were they doing? Just puking on them? They have the same head. So you think I'm bad now about look around door was unlocked, and so just farting bad. around in areas? I was even worse back then. That's where I came in. Like, as you could see. Way worse. I think I made this into like a 40 hour game. Damn, 600 credits? That just means everything's gonna be ridiculously expensive. It looks like that topped me off. Skip that. What the hell? What the fuck? That's what I said.
I really think we need to start seeing other people, bitch. You are freaking me out. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> that was horrifying. That's this whole game. They did a good job with the atmosphere. Uh, that's why I said I'd like to see BB play the first one. Because I think, general, I think it's generally agreed that Dead Space 2 is like a better game. Like just gameplay wise and stuff. But, uh, also I don't even have my, I don't even have my lights on. It kind of works. Fuck. Um, this is the better game. Gameplay wise, but game, or Dead Space 1 was actually scarier. But Dead Space 2 I think is pretty creepy. All right, hold on. So before we really get started, damn it. I need the, I don't know if I need a wider, wider cam or what, but I hate how I cut myself off by move a little bit. It's like I'm having a seizure. All right, let me, actually, I guess we'll go ahead and turn the lights on. Cause if I'll forget and then the green screen will get all fucked up. I guess I'll add a marker here, I guess. Uh, that's It's as zoomed out as far as it'll go. Because I keep thinking that, then I'll go in, and it's already zoomed out. I mean, the mic, is, or the mic, the cam's pretty close. And the thing is, I don't, like, obviously the ideal place for the cam is, like, down. But that's where the monitor is. So I don't really know what to do with it. Like, I've still got that Amazon tab open uh to like like things that will hold the cam which would be nice but again i still don't know where to like put it like there's the option of going to the side and doing like the profile type thing but have, I mean, you guys can't see my hand so i don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm doing but having the cam like to the side like over here ish i don't know but anyway yeah it's kind of the curse of having a big ass monitor though i still don't regret getting the bigger one all right so I was looking around last night, and I'd almost given up, but I finally found it. I found my Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition. Visceral Games rip another company, gutted and destroyed by EA. Thank you, cocksuckers. But it's a cool, cool little box. Art kind of goes around that side. You got the back. It's actually in really good condition, too, which is frankly surprising um try to open it without damaging it if possible again so it comes with shocker the game remember these things kids fucking zoomers zoomers are like what is that ancient mysterious relic of the past that's what we call the dvd we actually had games uh or i actually had drives i haven't had a dvd drive now see that's the thing i could have installed this probably if i had a dvd drive i haven't had a dvd drive for a pc in probably 15 years so it comes with uh i'm not gonna do a full unboxing or it's gonna go with this kind of quick I had an instruction book which I know, again, remember those? Would actually tell you shit about how the game works? Holy shit, imagine that. This weird, random, kind of like, uh, concept art? Comic book style thing? That was kind of cool. So, here's something we won't get to see. For the collector's edition, you get the ze Zealot Force Gun and Suit. Unlock automatically when you enter your valid product activation code during installation. Yeah, that did uh, that ended up not working. And apparently there's some Dead Space merchandise. Apparently they had figures? I didn't realize that. That's kind of neat. Um So yeah, those who missed it though, long story short, I do have the key. Obviously, I'm not showing you guys what it is in case somebody wants to get it to work. 
But long story short, I could not get it to work. Uh, apparently, I, I found the email from 10 years ago that said that I activated it. But it's not on my EA account anywhere. And if I emailed support, I probably could get access to it. Uh, they probably could add it or something like that. But God only knows how long that would take. So I was like, fuck it. And I just went ahead and bought it on Steam. But it actually came with the Dead Space 2 uh, original soundtrack. So if you, you know, go on a date and bring a girl home, you can put on really super creepy ambient music in the background so that she feels incredibly safe being alone with you. And definitely stops finger her, fingering her can of mace. I would totally do that. Oh, oh boy, look at this great upcoming game. Dragon Age 2. In stores, March 8th. We definitely didn't rush this game out in a hurry to build up on the unexpected Dragon Age Origins hype. No, no. This was a well-made game that we spent lots of time on and definitely didn't reuse a bunch of assets over and over again. And also, apparently... Oh, yeah, I actually did show my code for that, but... Oh, well. That's good luck. I probably already redeemed that. Also, Bulletstorm... Now that was a good game. You get to play as Wolverine Jack Black and kill guys in really creative ways. Uh, I'm not sure which server we were on. I'm sure Yuria's knows. I think it had a weird name. Uh, but they also got this little box here. And I'll put chapters on this for the YouTube people because they're impatient. By the way, one of the best new features YouTube's come up with recently is the chapters where you can put timestamps on things and it splits it into chapters automatically. Awesome feature. God damn it. Oh, it opens from the top. That's probably why. But wait, there's nothing in there. What, what it could be in there? Oh, I found this in my... Actually, it was behind my, my closet. It comes with its own little... Uh, Non-functioning, unfortunately. Uh, force. No, wait. Not this is not the force gun. This is the. I forget which what the, this thing is called, but it's the gun you start with. Got a little trigger. Actually, it has a somewhat satisfying little click when you when you pull the trigger as well. But you know, I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, I thought that was neat. I like finding, in particular, I like finding those ad little advertisements like this. Like the one for, for Dragon Age 2. Don't use my code. Again, it's probably already used. It probably doesn't even work anymore at this point. I, well, I know I would have used it. Because I did play Dragon Age 2, unfortunately. Uh, it was, in fact... Uh, on It's on the YouTube channel. Don't watch it. The game's not great. It was an obvious cash-in. A painfully obvious cash-in. Dragon Age Origins is great, though. That game you should play. It's very good. Alright. Nope, wrong one. There we go. I got it nice and spooky with the floodlights beaming into my eyes. I'm so glad we're in the future. Uh, so, I am going to play the little beginning thing. Previously on Dead Space. Uh, very quickly here, I just want to say this real quick. I actually did consider replaying Dead Space because I was saying the other day, I was like, well, I'm not going to play Dead Space 1 because I just replayed that like a year or two ago. I checked Steam. I last played it in 2015. Six years ago. Uh, boy, time flies when you're super old. But anyway, uh, oh, hold on. Let me change the gain because otherwise that's going to blow you guys' ears completely out of your goddamn sockets. Yes, time does go by older or faster the quick older we get. But uh, more games need this, by the way. More sequels in particular need this. But uh, this will catch us up on the story. And I'm going to grab a water while we do this because I've heard it before. Sorry about the sound. I tried to fix it ahead of time, but you know what it is. In the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, 
we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten, the religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. Witness the conviction of a true It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The Scourge released upon Aegis Seven came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The Corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. Dun dun. Nice, that was enough time for me to go to the bathroom and get all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to turn the cam back on yet, because uh, their beginning sequence uh, has some cinematics too. I still, <laughs> even after playing Dead Space 1 again, I still don't remember the marker being man-made. So, I said something the other day that was actually incorrect, which is, take note, because that rarely ever happens. I thought when I first played it, I played it on the hardest, well, the hardest difficulty that was initially unlocked uh which was Z a zealot but apparently that's not the case uh, i played on survivalist so we're gonna play on survivalist again we could probably do it on zealot but i think the it would just end up dragging out longer than we really want it to because uh, zealot is probably pretty goddamn difficult uh, and i remember survivalist being pretty tough so zealot's probably insane uh so for the interest of both time and since that was what we played it with originally we're going with survivalists which is for veteran dead space players ammo and health are less plentiful and enemies are more deadly when they play a gold melody you've got a problem you all solve it check out the beat where the dj revolves it let's start
Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. No, no, I'll call you back okay. later. It's okay. <clears throat> How you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range there, Mike. Isaac. Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Brutal. Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Chuck Beaver. Isaac, can you hear me? <sighs> Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. Me and Franco are going to be long term buddies. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you got to trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. I'm in terrible, terrible what? Finish your sentence. I'm in terrible what? Franco? Franco, what happened? Uh, Franco is busy right now. Oh, God. Isaac! Oh, God. Hold on, let me... Lower the sensitivity real quick. It's actually really easy to die in this part. Hold on. I'll, I'll turn the cam on in a second. Even though it's like the tutorial. Yay! Welcome to Dead Space 2. Hooray. Welcome back. And yes, I made the same joke the first time. But it's still funny, I think. The one about, uh, I mean, terrible what? Ter terrible what? We gotta finish your sentence, Mrs. My Man. That's rude to just stop. So, yes. We're playing this again after 10, 10 years. Good God. Obviously, some people don't know when to just give up. I'm obviously one of those people. I think some things have gotten better. Audio quality is better. I look about as awful as I did. Though I didn't use webcam. I didn't use cam for a long time. But yeah, it's funny. I actually just didn't even realize. Oh, no. Hey, boys. Look out! A guy in a straight jacket. Going up. 
Oh, they're like little little Xeno wannabes. Uh, but but yeah, apparently I did stream this on. I mean, it had to have been Twitch because you couldn't stream on any. Well, there was Justin TV. Oh, hey. Damn, they made like quick work of this dude. Like they fucked them up fast. I appreciate their efficiency. They're like sharks of the air vents. I want the key subjects terminated and the facility scrubbed. This is not a drill. Type out. It's not a drill. Bitch, there's like screaming and blood and organs everywhere. Obviously not a drill. Alright, so you guys are gonna have to let me know what the sound is. Again, I do have the auto ducking on, so obviously when I'm talking, it's not gonna be too loud. I had to turn everything pretty low to not be extremely loud. I don't know if I changed something in Windows, but like every game seems to be ludicrously loud now. Wait, hold on. Now. My eyes looking much better today, yes, don't you think? Foreshadowing. It hurts. It still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, 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 I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't... There. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss, what? He was just short. He was just short, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what he looks like, but I can't remember. The symbols, Strauss! What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Alright, that is repeats a bajillion times. Actually more than a bajillion, because it, it'll it'll go forever. Now. Can you imagine not only being stuck in like some kind of mental institution jail type thing, but then like the people observing you or watching you from above? You're sitting there trying to take a quiet shit and you look up. There's just a bunch of doctors like looking at you, judging you, making a bunch of notes. First thing tomorrow. I don't think there's any uh, text or anything today. over here. And so one thing I noticed, even for me, like I noticed uh, I was swinging the camera around, which I tend to do that anyway, right? When I when I play, you want to swing around and look around very quickly, right? Uh, but like even me watching it, I was like, ooh, man, like that, I can't hardly watch that. So I've lowered my sensitivity and I try to not do it as much, but especially in the middle of combat, it's hard not to, right? Because you, you need to turn around quickly. Yes, I will open it with my head. Red means scary, y'all. I just made that up. And I didn't take that from somebody much more popular. Also, this guy talks like like Chris Hansen. Why don't you have a seat? What are you doing here today? Come on, man. I remember you. <laughs> I said we all the key subjects need to be eliminated. Listen. Terminated. <laughs> Which one more? Listen to me, man. What matter? Listen to me! Matter. We can both get out of here. Just just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Oh, Don't do it. <laughs> There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. The rig is red. It's 
it's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Go ahead. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Foreshadowing. This game, I've said this before too, but the UI in Dead Space was really cool. And we'll we'll see more of that obviously as we go. But your health meter is basically like on your spine there. The color and how much of that is filled up is how much health you have. Hey. Alright, just relax. It's gonna be cool. Isaac, hey, that's me. Burn for what we did to you. Nope. Nope. That's not. He's like, yeah, we're gonna kill who did this, but he, he actually had the scalpel. He was a good man in the end. Well, not really. He he always Dan, look at his neck jiggle. Neck jiggle physics. Rest in peace, my friend. I shall carry you off to Valhalla. Where all asshole doctors go. But they see they all died like pretty cleanly. Comparatively. Like that one dude got his chest ripped off, got his arms and legs ripped off. But these guys just kinda died. Yeah, semi peace. I mean, they probably screamed, but semi peacefully they died. Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Rule number one of Dead Space. Never, ever trust blonde women. Never trust blonde women in Dead Space. You'll see. I actually don't even remember what happens with her, but I remember having that rule in the first game. Also, never trust elevator sequences in horror games. Always back to the corner. Look up. Keep your eyes up. See, I want to see... I want to see BB plays. They are remaking Dead Space. I'm assuming Dead Space 2 as well, probably. Depending on how the first game does. Kicking a wheelchair down the hallway, why not? I'd be very interested to see how they do. It's still EA, so, you know. Yeah, I know. Let me tell you how to aim. Oh, never mind. You're already doing that. Thank you. It is super dark. I don't know if the rest of the game is going to be as dark, but probably... Oh, shit, milk. That's very calming. Especially when the clouds and shit pop on the screen with a bunch of loud noises. I feel like that has the opposite effect. Not really, I guess... Oh, actually. I was just about to say, no point in looking around just yet, but apparently there is. Orderly TPS report 1418. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified of the discovery. I still... I still don't get the marker. Like, I still don't quite understand like how, how that came about. Like, the whole thing with it being man-made. Like, how was it man-made if they first went to that planet? I mean, I guess they could have landed, they made it, and the, I don't know. Does anybody actually know the story of this game? Where's Yuri is? I bet he would know. He's the story nerd. The shower's our favorite place. 
Unisex showers, very, very forward thinking. When do we get to that point? Shit smeared on the wall, good. Uh, I know after a good shower, I like to smear a bunch of doo-doo all over the walls. As again, obviously, commentary has vastly improved. It's still funny that even though he's in a mental institution, he still has uh, like full clearance. Like open doors and shit that he probably should have had that access revoked. But I mean, if he escapes, where's he gonna go? Like he's in space. I mean, I think, yeah, we're on a space station. Ah, uh, the futuristic nip nipple tooker. Right? Why are you helping me? I fell down. If Tideman finds you, more people will die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. That's so bitchy. I think this is where we get the... the force grab thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, were you using that? Now we're safe. Oh, do I need to? So once you toss that, oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Bitch, why don't you stick around? All right, you're coming with me, body shield. Oh wait, hold on. You had to destroy the bodies in this game, which I appreciate. In order to get the items. I never quite understood why you had to destroy the bodies to get the items. Oh, damn. Look at that. I almost, like I planned it. You have to, like, smash them to get the shit out of them. Why well, can't more games... I want to say an like RPG where you kill the monster. You don't, like, check its pockets. You, like, beat the shit out of its corpse to get the items. See? Pop his leg off and blood and credits fall out. Hiding credits in it. Excuse me. Keep your keep your hands to yourself. Thank you. I'll take this. Um, go ahead and heal again, I guess. Yeah. Error. Error. Never mind. Just push the button. Stand back. I had this... What is that supposed to be? A bookcase? Ooh, get fucked. Nope, not you. <laughs> See? Ma'am, ma'am, please, I'm trying to give commentary. I don't really... Need you talking over it. I'm trying to talk over the game. Don't talk over me talking over the game. But there's one of my favorite things about this game is you could, like, the enemies have those sharp, like, claws that they, you know, that they, you know, tend to hurt you with. But if you cut their arm off, you can actually grab it and then stab them with their own arm. Uh, speaking of. Oh, I don't think this counts. Oh, it actually would have. Oh, well. So I think the only containers you can open are the ones with the lights on them. Evacuation in progress. Evacuation 
I, I know. I'm trying to evacuate. Give me a minute. God. Can't open a door. Stomp to loot corpses and or containers. Or you can just stab them in the face, I guess. Fuck yeah. Isaac was a trendsetter. Back when peasants were opening chests like normal, he was stomping on them to break that shit open. There we go. That shit. I know how to melee. Thank you. Help! Help! Isaac Clark to the rescue. Anyone? I'll get there. Give me a minute. Hello? Look, every time you try to rush me, I'm just going to take even longer. I can hear you. Come help me, please. I'll get there what again. What the fuck are you doing? I'm looking for items. Look, if you want to get help, maybe don't get saucy with me. Oh, God. Please. please. Maybe if you would just not lay around. Maybe help yourself. God helps those who help themselves. Uh, Calm down. I'll cut adjacent. You. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? I have my doctorate in uh, picking up ladies, if that counts. You, you get it? Doctorate in picking up ladies? Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to help you. All right, now let's get out of here, buddy. He looks more annoyed than injured, really. Which was really my aim, honestly. <laughs> He's like, I can't stop throwing corpses at me. Please. Oh, God, another person to help. People always ask him what Isaac Clark can do for them. Never, what can I do for Isaac Clark? Let's give him a minute to maybe calm his ass fucking down. I don't, I mean, assuming the red ones are just for decoration. You can't actually loot anything out of them. Hold on. Shh. Be still. Ooh. Dental appointment. We've got a miss with the second one that kind of went into his head. Rest in peace. You actually do, other than just for being fun, you do want to cut their limbs off and hit them with it when possible. Isaac, it's Dana. Hi. You Hi, Dana. Have to the I'm Isaac. To stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Can you end any conversation without sounding condescending? Like, is this like a, a thing you can actually do, or is it a medical condition? You just have to be a bitch nonstop. Because I don't want to, I don't want to insult you if you have a medical condition that just makes you into a dirty cow. But yeah, if you haven't played these games, Dead Space One and Two still hold up. Which I guess, to be fair, I don't know if Dead Space Two holds up because I have not played it again since. Burial at Sea. I have not played it again since I played it way back in 2011. The pun was terrible? I mean, all puns are terrible, unless I do them. Ooh, milk. Uh, 
Oh, I can pick up everything but the milk. This is horseshit. Choo choo. Again, that's a rocket. Isaac, Jesus, you're an engineer. to go and I did make a comment I know uh, in the original playthrough too where you want more games to do this shows you where it's supposed to go so that you can go to other places and pick up other shit dun 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 can you imagine Thank you. Bam! Oh shit. Wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna love this. You gotta be saying to yourself Vertigo of House Tea Party. Damn it, not this. Why do you spend so much time cutting their limbs off to hit them with their own limbs? First of all, if you have to ask that question, I have to wonder, are you even human? Secondly, you do want to conserve ammo for multiple reasons on higher difficulties, especially. One, it's to conserve ammo. I think that's fairly obvious. Ooh, two for one. Nice. Conserve ammo. I forget how to do the alternate mode. Oh, there it is. Space bar. And one of the reasons you want to conserve ammo, other than the obvious, is you can sell extra ammo, and then you can use that money to buy upgrades. So if you have a bunch of extra ammo, because you've been conserving it, then you can buy all the sweet ass upgrades. See, it all it all works together. This is the other reason. Not only the witty commentary, but the brilliant MLG tips. Sorry, it's very dark. So sometimes if I'm stopping and looking around, I don't know how dark it is for you guys, but sometimes I just legit can't see. Also, one thing I noticed. When watching the video, the flashing lights, back then, I'm pretty sure it didn't bother me that much. Some blood bags? <laughs> Those, <laughs> it's time for your suppository, sir. God, no. Please. At least lube me up this time. You know what you're in here for, sir. No more lubing. I realize the radio keeps going, like the background. But yeah, I don't know if you missed that, because I actually kind of did. But like, they keep talking about like, go for the lambs, go for the lambs. Like they've said it like three times now. And for us normal people, you're like, okay, we get it. Maybe putting too fine a point on it, go for the limbs, not the heads, we get it. But then you watch certain people play these games and they just keep ignoring it and going for the head and it's like oh that's why game devs do that because people are fucking stupid and you really gotta hammer home no dipshit go for everything but the limbs fine i didn't want to go out with you anyway i'm an engineer i can get any woman i want women love engineers text log i will be reading these by the way and set a sexy voice, though. Orderly TPS report 1411. Patients are becoming agitated and combative with us as a result of the new regimens of memory-erasing drugs. 
They no longer remember who we are from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. Many are so frightened they require sedation to get to the interrogation chamber. Ordinarily, Gustus was, or orderly Gustus was bitten three times by patient six, who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. That seems like a, like a thing an orderly should do. You, somebody bites you, you break their jaw. Also, how tight did they put these cloths on these people? Like they had to like pull down on the cloths. I feel like that's a little bit much. Nice for dramatic effect though. Which is obviously why they actually did it. Oh, this place is super unsanitary. Like vans in Fallout? Wait, what was it? What was the vans in Fallout? Make us whole. You're gonna hear that a lot. Both from me and the game. Well, I pick stuff up with my hands when I can use my fucking mind. All right. See, the lower lower sensitivity makes it so I don't spin as much. I might lower it some more. I know it doesn't bother some folks, but anyway, yeah, I was going to say before, the flashing lights. As we come around the corner, it's just like a tuba and string section. Isaac! Isaac, come on! Come on, they're hey, after wait, us! Wait, wait! Who is? Who's that? Tumatre. And can they wait for me to loot everything? Trick question. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think that thing that would be interesting, which we didn't really watch enough of it. But I wonder if I played this better than I played it 10 years ago. I'd like to think I'm better at games than I was 10 years ago. And this is a still pretty difficult game on this difficulty, I'm pretty sure. What the fuck? Mmm, get some high C except it's blood. What the fuck? Oh, you tried. Remember me. Patient five. I'm patient five, remember? Do you remember? Uh... No, I don't. But Dana, your fucking route didn't work. There's a security lockdown. I told Language. you how'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last that. Shit. Load. to hit reload at the wrong time. Have a seat. Have a seat. Bam! <laughs> That's so awesome. Shooting their limbs off and then while it's in the air, grab the limb and then kill them with their own limb. I'm sorry. How is that not badass? Dana? Dana! Okay, you're right. I do need your help. No, I don't. Talk to me. Clearly. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... Oh, shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! I'll jam your signal tonight, baby. Damn it, I, used, yeah, I think I said that same joke, too. Ooh, upgrade power nodes. So you use the power nodes. I like the upgrade system in this game, too. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously see that in a bit. But I think it was a very interesting way to do upgrades. <laughs> Text log. Anxiety spike. Attention reception desk. Please refer all registrants to complaining uh, all registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We're booked and running low on mood elevating medications. With recent CEC layoffs and the increased tensions between unitologists and EarthGov, I thought this was enough of a spike in cases. 
This new wave is something entirely different. Uh, Dr. Uh, Brian Alpers. Thank you, Doctor. Needing help? No thanks. Go somewhere else. Toxicology. I'm not reading all of them. Oh, they're renting out the place next door? Wait, how much so how much are they wanting for rent now? I don't know, they were trying to rent it instead of sell it. Yeah, something's gonna give with the housing prices. It's got to. Like rent and housing costs are ludicrous. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ in a ch wait, what? Um no, not a month. No way. I disbelieve the numbers. I'm making a wisdom and insight check. Give it now I do want to play D. &D. Tell them I'll do it if we if we play it on the weeks. Bro Control, you better be fucking listening. You should be watching every one of my goddamn streams. Even when it's games you don't like, a.k.a. probably good